Today was the weigh-in for Jack Catterall versus Regis Pro Grade tomorrow in the UK. I'm very interested to see how Regis Pro Grade look after losing to Devin Haney. At 35 years old, could Regis Pro Grade become a champion again? I really couldn't tell y'all, but when I look at Regis Pro Grade, when I look at this picture of Regis Pro Grade, he is a very small 140 pounder. Low key, I think the man should move down to 135. Maybe he could do better with the way, who knows? But I am rooting for Regis Prograde. The Haney is some bitches. Speaking of Regis Prograde and Devin Haney, Regis Prograde did an interview talking about Devin Haney and that beating he took from Ryan Garcia. Regis Prograde said it was a bad beating, and beatings like that definitely take off your career. Some people could come back, and some people can't. He is definitely right. Low key, I think that Devin Haney will never come back from that beatdown. I think that Devin Haney will never be the same. Devin will never be a champion again, but that is just my opinion on it. The Haney's some bitches. And to y'all Devin Haney fanboys watching this video, you know damn well this is all Bill Haney's fault. I'm talking about the backlash Devin been getting since April 20th, 2024. It is going on seven months of backlash because of Bill Haney. If Bill Haney didn't exist, the boxing world would have forgot about that beating that Ryan gave Devin. Speaking of Bill Haney, Eddie Hearn did an interview today and the man was disrespecting Bill Haney. He was throwing subliminal disses at Bill Haney. Check it out. Devin needs some guidance. And Bill's done an amazing job for Devin. But you need firepower. I don't know about y'all, but that sounded very disrespectful if you ask me. Eddie Hearn talking about Devin needs guidance. As you know, as a father, you're supposed to give your son guidance. He said Bill Haney is not doing a great job of giving his son guidance. To me, that was a shot. Eddie Hearn knows damn well that Bill Haney is detrimental to Devin's career. Tank is just the best. Speaking of Devin Haney, Devin Haney's best buddy, I'm talking about Victor Conti, the Tony Montana of PEDs had the audacity to tweet out. It's time for boxing to get snacked up on clean supplements. All elite snack boxers are VADA tested and many are world champions. How you like it? High level boxing on Twitter talking about, did you give them the clear? That is undetected by VADA. Victor Conte said, why make such a stupid claim where you have absolutely no credible evidence to your theory? I have not given any prohibited substances to a boxer in the last 20 years. Anyone who claims any different should step up with credible evidence. This is not gonna happen because there is no evidence, so stop the conjecture. Racism in this motherfucker. Streets Dad on Twitter ethered Mr. Victor Conte by saying in the last 20 years. So in 2004, before you have given boxers prohibited substances, Hashtag liar. All you gotta do is some research on Victor Conti. Like this video right here. I showed Shane Mosley how to inject EPO. I could never trust this man. And this is the very same individual that Bill Haney wants Ryan Garcia to sign up for his drug testing vada. I could never trust Victor Conti. I don't care what y'all talking about. I think that snack program should be taken out of boxing, but that is just my opinion. You were scared to get in the ring. Hey, yo, South Park TV. I seen David Benavidez with a snack shirt. I seen Ryan Garcia with a snack shirt. I seen Bud Crawford with a snack shirt. What about them? Like I said, I tripled down on what I say. I think that that snack program should be taken out the sport of boxing. I don't give a damn who was wearing the shirts. Snacks should not be allowed in boxing in my opinion. Bum ass nigga. Y'all Devin Haney fanboys need to realize that I am not just calling Victor Conte the Tony Montana of PEDs for no reason. In 2005, Victor Conte went to prison after pleading guilty to conspiracy to distribute steroids and money laundering. He currently operates Scientific Nutrition for Advanced Conditioning, a.k.a. Snack. Bitch ass nigga. I don't trust Victor Conti, and I'm never gonna trust Victor Conti. And Shakur Stevenson, the wannabe gangster, fake internet thug, a.k.a. Mr. Soft as hell, hide behind Eddie Hearn for the rest of his life. The man was back on Twitter today being a Twitter thug. Max Calandrello tweeted out, Arthur Better be able would beat Andre Ward. Now, what would make the man say this? I really couldn't tell y'all, but when you think about it, Arthur Better be able would get outboxed by Andre Ward the same way Dimitri Bebo outboxed Arthur Better be able. But Shakur Stevenson responded to the man by saying, 
Y'all be tweaking. Those y'all from Chicago, Illinois. What is wrong with the way Shakur Stevenson typed this up? Talking about y'all be tweaking. Oh, yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro, you not from Chicago. And if you was, the slang you trying to use is tweaking. And yes, Max Caladrillo is definitely tweaking. Andre Ward would definitely cook out the better be it. Hey, yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro, is this you turning your back, running for your life against Edwin De Los Santos? Edwin De Los Santos was not even throwing a punch in this picture. But Shakur Stevenson, being the soft individual that he is, turned this back and ran the other way. Soft as hell, I'm telling you. And if you rock with Shakur Stevenson, more than likely you soft too. Sunday. Come on, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Come on, Sunday. Notch. Hey, give me a thumbs up, Sunday. Notch. And y'all seen the news yesterday that the Tank Davis fight will more than likely be off with Lamont Roach on December 14th. Everybody been making up all type of rumors. That is how you know Javante Davis is the face of boxing because it's a different rumor every five minutes. Michael Benson posted Javante Davis versus Lamont Roach reportedly could now be moved to share a show with David Benavidez versus David Morrell on January 25th in Las Vegas, Nevada. How do y'all feel about that? And who do y'all think should be the main event if Tank Davis and David Benavidez are on the same card together? In my opinion, I don't care what y'all say. Love David Benavidez, but Tank Davis is the face of boxing. Javante Davis should be the main event, and David Benavidez should be the cold main event. It is what it is. Not Devin Haney. But at the end of the day, we truly don't even know if all these rumors are true. I've been seeing a gang of y'all talking about y'all know this, y'all know that. Ellie Segback tweeted out, So many boxing people here on Twitter running with all kinds of crazy conspiracies about Javante Tank Davis. Just sit down and relax and wait for him to announce something himself instead of making up stuff that aren't even close to reality. Ellie Segback is right. Instead of making up lies on Twitter, wait for Javante Davis to say something. But like I said about Twitter, if you got a Twitter boxing page, more than likely you never threw a punch a day in your life. Punching a punching bag does not count. I stand on what I say. If you got a Twitter boxing page and you just punch in a bag, but you never fought, professional or amateur, delete your Twitter account. You don't know shit about boxing. I look forward to the announcement from Javante Davis because like Ellie Segback said, when Tank is gonna fight, Tank will let you know. It hurts, you're not a pay-per-view star. 